Hi everyone. I'm back. I have um, mixed up a lot of paint. Uh, it's all Windsor and Newton and I mixed it with Vallejo pouring medium, um, a little bit of polymer medium, and f uh, about a spoonful of Floetrol, tablespoonful, and a little bit of water, tiny bit of water. And uh, right now there's no dimethicone in it, so I'll get that. And I am going to, the full cup of white, I'm going to use for, let's see, let's do a little bit more. The full cup of white I'm going to be using for the, um, the background. And a little bit of white, like this, where I'm putting the dimethicone in. That's what I'm going to use for the pour. So I'm going to be putting a couple of drops in, uh, in every color. Because I'd like a lot of cells. So about three to four drops each color. And right now I'm mixing it through. So that's what I do. I first mix up the paint till the uh, right consistency. And then just before I pour, I add the silicone, in this case, dimethicone. And a lot of people ask me what brand of dimethicone. Well, it doesn't have a brand. It's just 100% dimethicone. And uh, it is a, a thick, though. Its a thickness is a 1,000. And some, some uh, shops will uh, put the thickness on there, and some won't, so... Yeah, I can't help that. Let's see. It is becoming a little thicker because this took a long time to... Um, this really took a long time to mix. So I might have to add a little... While I'm doing that, this is the updated list of the sponsors. And about um, last month's uh, August... Uh, Barbara, she still didn't contact me. Uh, she was a little bit upset. She claimed that I didn't put her in the drawing. But I did because she was picked out. But now she's not getting in contact with me. So I am not sure what I am going to do. Because she had first pick of the paintings. And um, I might just... Uh, find a couple more that I uh, that I would like to donate to the sponsors and then uh, just mail number two so that person can pick out a uh, painting and if Barbara doesn't uh, email me because she didn't donate through PayPal so I don't have her email address before everyone says go to PayPal you can find it there no I can't sorry so, uh, Barbara, if you're listening or watching, please email me because you did win. So, that's that. This one is without the silicone. This is for the background. Let's see how thick it is. Yeah, that's okay. Might even make it a little thinner. Don't know if I have enough. Yeah, that's got to do it. Okay, so... For everyone on the list, thank you a thousand times. I love you all to pieces and you're helping making this possible. So what I'm doing is a 40 by 40 centimeters. It's a big one. And I am going to do a flip cup. Someone asked me to do a five flip cup. So that's what we're going to do. And this time I'm not going to use um, that little wooden thing that I usually put on top and then twirl it around. I'm going to put the paint in here and then just flip it. We'll see if that works. So this time um, we're going to do, I'm going to set them all up so you can watch me do it. Let's see. Making a little room here. This is number one. That's number two, number three, number four, and number five. So. As I'm doing this, I sure hope everyone that is in the path of that new hurricane has left or um, has, I don't know, secured the house or whatever you need to do. Get water, get everything you need. 
so that you can uh, get through that thing. Um, I've been watching the news, and um, uh, St. Martin, the Dutch part of St. Martin, it is slammed. It's awful. There's a lot of stuff going on and uh, a lot of looting. And, you know, if, if you're looting uh, for water and bread and something to eat, I can understand that because, you know, that's what you need. And if you have children, I can, you know, I don't have kids, but if I had kids and I didn't have anything to eat and my children were hungry, I'd loot everything. Sorry, I would. Because you have to take care of your children. But going for the uh, jewelry shops now, that is another thing. People that do that, oh, wow. They have no, no feeling for nothing, I guess. They don't care. Who wants to, who who thinks about doing that? You know, I don't, I just don't understand it. Oh, well. That's who we are, people. Well, not who we are. But, you know, humans have a really, really weird sense of, what they need to do when something like this happens. Okay, last of the white goes in. But they're they're going to be setting up a lot of that donations things, you know, that you have these uh, evenings on TV where you can um, donate and do stuff. Um, my company used to do that uh, when there was that really big uh, tsunami. Uh, we had one of those um, fundraisers at work. Everyone came in to work for nothing. It was all free. And um, the television showed, you know, a lot of um, celebrities. They were at the phones. And so were we. We were the backup. And then uh, all the calls came in. And people started donating a lot of money for the tsunami. And the company I worked for, they uh, did that all for free. You know, the the lines, the call center. Um, I helped everyone understand what the, what that uh, big telephone thing does. You know, it's sort of a... Not as easy as, you know, the home phone things. You got to know what you have to do. So I helped everyone get their headsets on, know what to do, know what to say. It was fun. Well, fun, you know, in a... It was fun to see how many people came and, and, you know, donated their time to do it. That was fun. Not the, not the tsunami. That was awful. A lot of people died. Okay, people, we are almost as far as we are going to get with this paint. Now, that's a lot of paint. So I'm putting these empty ones aside so we have a little bit more room and of course I have my white one and I need a little cloth put the cloth up here so okay now we have these cups filled with lovely blues and greens turquoises I'm gonna put that where you can all see it and I'm just gonna do that very fast and do it in a kind of a manner that it's all on there. So that was pretty quick, right? So we have five cups. I am going to leave it there because I'm going to pour the white in around the cups. There we go. I was really in the mood for for an ocean theme, so I'm gonna really hope that this is gonna turn out to be sort of an ocean thing, because that's what I was looking for. A little bit more here. And we could also do a little push and pull. We'll see. Nah, we'll just pull the cups up. This is going to be fun. It's a lot of paint. Ooh, they're already moving. Don't move too much. Nope, that's not going to happen. Okay, are we ready for this? 
I hope we are all ready for this. Oh, and I'm going to use some glitter. I'm pretty sure of that because I'm in a glitter mood. Oh, let me do the torching first because I see a lot of air bubbles and I want most of them gone. Oh, and I might put a hole in the, uh, in the cups. What about that? That's one. Whoopsie, there it goes. That's number two. That is fun. That's something different. We haven't done that before. Put that here. We're going to tilt it anyway, so. Then that way. I am smelling the, uh, the plastic. was kind of fun. Now I need a um, palette knife. Let's clean that off there. Okay, I think we got it all. Now let's play with it a little bit. Oops, want to keep a little a bit of that dark color. I'm going to push this one down. And there, down the corner. Hmm, don't know what I feel about it yet, but we'll see in a bit. Wait a minute. Sorry if my head is in front of there, but got to fix the corner here. Okay, let's make some magic. Here it comes. These are beautiful. I love these cells. Let me do this bit here. Getting rid of all the little bubbles. Now I bet someone's saying, oh, I see a bird. <laughs> yeah, I see a bird too. Now I'm going to tilt it a little bit because I kind of like this really large bit here and letting it go down there. Letting the white go off. See that? Because then we can turn it around a little bit. And I kind of like it this way. But I'm letting the dark and the white come back. This is kind of cool. Trying to get them uh, circular again. But that's not going to work. But I do like it. Got to clean my hands a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I do like it, but I would have liked a little bit more here. And that's not going to happen, as I can see. So then I got to do something. I had a little bit of plastic here. Let's see what happens. Let's see. 
let's see if I get some uh, cells now. Nope, not happening. So, back to the drawing board. We'll have to uh, fix that because <laughs> right now it's like I just <laughs> did something there. So, um, let's see if we have some paint left. There it is. I thought, you know, if I just um, did that with the, uh, with the plastic, it would uh, release some more of those cells. And I don't know why that doesn't work. I don't know, now I'm really down to the canvas. <laughs> Okay, let's scoop up some of this. That's good. No, because if this doesn't work, all I can I can still uh, do something to it. Hmm. Just a few tiny cells. I'm gonna need a little bit more white. going to do some damage control. So that's a little flow troll. That's a little bit of white. And I had my water here. A little bit of water. And somewhere I had my little dimethicone bottle. That's that. Pour this on top. And then I'm going to swipe it again. See, now it does so. Ooh, I'm pretty cells too. I get those double, double cells. Okay, I'll have to swipe it. I don't like it. No, I won't swipe it. I'm going to pour that off because I do like this going all, all sorts of ways, but I just don't like the corner. Ew, that is kind of uh, ugly. That's the last of my white. I need a little pouring medium. about it yeah well you can't win them all right so I'm gonna pour it and then it'll pour straight off the tape off the uh, canvas let's see how thick it is it needs a little bit of water it doesn't have to be too thick though Yep, that's it. Now, let's see. There it goes. And down there. I do want to make it a little like it's meant to be there. There it is, all fixed. Okay, I still like this though. Got a lot of stuff going on here, and there's a nice, um, the colors that are 
mixed up here I like, this piece I like. I kind of like how it goes swirly and then there's the, um, the nice cells. I even like this bit here. But I am going to put some glitter stuff on it because I want it to look like some, something like water or something like that. And really right now I'm thinking of just putting, uh, adding more white what that would do. I don't think I've ever done that before. Let's do that. Why not? It's all about trying stuff out right. See? I'm going along that line, the imaginary line. That's it. And now I'm going to let it broaden up a little. Let it come down, let it come up all sorts of ways yeah well see now you know you shouldn't be doing that because that ruins the whole painting I thought it would just mix a little better but that's not gonna happen so then we're back to our final if all else fails you know this isn't I'm not sure let's see let's do a little bit more to it I'm going to uh, do a little bit more to it here and then I'm going to torch it and if it doesn't look cool then I'm going to swipe it. That's about it. That's about there. Let me look from far away. Nah, I don't like it. <coughs> I need that big thing. Oh, there you are. The big swiper, but I gotta have more room to swipe. So, putting it up here, we have a little bit more of the paint. Putting a little bit more on there. That's that. Putting these up here. Man, I'm making a mess. Let's see what we can do. Almost had the perfect swipe. Just missed the bit here. Well, that'll have to do. That's it. I like it. I can live with this one. I'm going to keep this one for my studio. This is a really good swipe. Just let me do the sides a little bit. That's it. A little down here. I'm going to turn it a little bit to see if I have the... Uh, canvas showing. Nope. It's, uh, it's okay. 
and I'll give you a little close up. Yeah, these colors are better. These are really ocean colors. There it is. Yeah, these are pretty colors. So let's put that up here again. Let's see if I get you all in focus. Yes. Now what I'm going to use is a, uh, a green, a sort of a green uh, glitter. And, and the other one, that is that holographic glitter that I really like so much. Gonna mix those two together. See how it really matches the painting? It's beautiful. I'm gonna put a little on my glove. And of course my fingers are really sticky so I have to watch out. Because I don't want, you know, big bunches of uh, glitter. Just a little, a little shine. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, you know, because um, I might use it as a background. I used to be really good at drawing mermaids. Maybe I'll do a mermaid. That's all I want on there. That's it. Oops, that's a little bit too much there, but that's it. Yeah, now it's really pretty. Let's see. Pick it up. See how there's just a tiny bit of glistening there, here and there. Just a little bit. That is awesome. I love it. I'm happy with it. That's all that counts. As long as I think it's good and I can do something with it, right? So I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. I might even um, put another pour on top resembling some sort of a um, seagrass, something that's flowing. Not too, uh, not too much, just a little. And then Maybe it's time for a turtle, because a lot of people have asked me to do a turtle. I might do a turtle, yeah. So I kind of like this one. Yeah, I'm glad it worked out. Now, if I had a space to put it, that would be fantastic. Let's see. I think it'll go right there. It has the push pin, so it should be able to on my workbench. I was really, really dangerous because I had, oh, uh-oh, I ruined the shirt. <laughs> I'll put it in water straight away, I promise. Just have to do a little touch up here and there. I saw a little bit that I, uh, that I missed. Okay, so we have some left, and what we're going to do, my hair is driving me crazy. I went to the hairdresser, and, um, and then right now it's hanging in my face. I guess they like to do that, I don't know. Let's see what this is going to be like. Just pour it off a little bit because I kind of like this. Yeah, that's kind of mediocre cells, but for a tiny piece for a for a piece of jewelry, it might be really cool. Yeah, that looks like stone over here. I, I kind of like that. 
Now I wish I hadn't put the caps on my uh, on my glitter. Because it does, I'm going to, oh yeah, wait a minute. Let's put this up here. That's the only thing I hate, that everything gets covered in, uh, in paint. Everything. This is it. See? Just a tiny, tiny little bit of glitter. Like almost nothing. But I'm sure that when... When you wear something that is like this, oops, then when the sun hits it, that's when it's beautiful. Or when the light hits it. Can you even see it? Okay, keeping this one. One more. Let's get the, oh, there's a lot of paints on the back. It's kind of, I think I could take a piece out of there, maybe here. Just letting it go a little bit. Yep, I'm keeping this one too. Wish there wasn't so much paint on the back. And now I'm out of Yupo, so that's about all that's going to happen. And I really hate it because I love this too. Let me see. I got one. This is really thin Yupo. I bought this the very first time I heard of Yupo. And they use this for um, uh, airbrushing. Let's see what this is gonna do. Oh, what a, what a load of paint, right? Let's see what this does. That's a lot of paint. And then I'm going to go downstairs because I have to watch my soap. Well, not soap. It's a reality program. Oh, and I have to put my shirt in water first. This is a painting all by itself. Look at that. How beautiful. But guys, this is what you can do with Yupo. You know, you can just use it as a canvas. It works perfectly. But now I don't know where to put this. Whoa-oh. Okay, let me see. Okay, I found something. And now I'm really thinking, wow, what a waste of paint. So we'll just do something to it. Just see how it how it sells up. By the way, I think Vallejo sells better than this. When I do this with Vallejo, I get so many cells. See this this produces cells too, but with Vallejo, it just spontaneously happens. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put this paint in a cup. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this. It's a nice blue color. I'm sure it's going to come in handy. So here we go. Let's 
See that? That's almost a cup, and that's a, a pretty, pretty color blue. Don't have to throw that away. I can use that for a background if I put some white in it. That'll work out. Okay, guys, I'm going to take off these gloves to turn off the iPad before I have to clean that one, too. So thank you all for watching. I know it's a mess, but I'll keep the paint. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Bye-bye.